suppose you want to merge the tables you have one table something like this the other table something like this and you want to have them combined which looks something like this welcome to the channel now to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon so again so here we're gonna learn about merging the tables all about merging the tables we will start from the beginner level and i'll take take you to the further so to merge the tables we need some prerequisites i mean if you want to merge two or more tables there are certain requirements which must be fulfilled let's look at the requirements one by one first requirement is there should be at least two tables which is very obvious either two or more tables both all both or all the tables must have at least one common variable i mean in both of these two tables you should have one common variable basis on which you could do the merging then all or both of the two tables should be or must be sorted on the common variables now let's explore it further and understand so here you have the first table which is cost one customer one then you have the second table which is customer two in the first table you can see you have customer name and the transaction amount in second table you have contact name i mean which is a customer name of course city and the country now as our uh, first requirement say, says first of all we must have at least two tables so here that is fulfilled then we should have at least one common variable in both of these two tables so we can see these two columns are common so if, now when you have all of these requirements fulfilled and of course you will be sorting the data before merging that then you would just move ahead and you would like to have them combined which looks something like this now here one thing to notice all right so first let's go to the uh, SAS session and do this and then we will try to explore it so here we have the cost one table and here we have the cost two table so let's start with sorting the data proc sort data equals to i'm sorry so if you have not seen how to sort the data uh, we have already created a video on sorting the tables you can just watch them from the channel playlist or uh, by clicking the link which is showing just right up here all right now coming back to the requirement we'll first select the first column and then give a buy statement and then contact name which is the common column and then have it running and then again we will sort second column just to save the time i copied and pasted the syntax now both of these two table have been sorted let's go ahead and see how we can merge that to merge that you have to give a sorry for this noise which my dog is making all right now to merge this first you need to give a table name which we're gonna give as combined combined and then you need to type merge as you use set here you need to write merge and then give the first table name which exists in my lib and the table name is cost one then you don't have to put the semicolon because you are providing more than one table then again my lib and cost two and then as i said you should have one common column so the common column was contact name so you need to type by all right so by and then provide the common column name and then run run this let's let's print all of these things proc print and data equals to combined and then run it so here you can see that both of the two, two tables have been combined so to combine this thing uh, you first need to type data statement and then provide the merge statement followed by all of the tables which you want to combine and then put the common column which says sas go to each of these tables and look for this variable whatever uh, wherever it has matching value just bring them all together all right now 
uh, as we just saw that the data has been combined let's go ahead and try to understand so here what has happened in the first table we had contact name and in the second table we had contact name sas has uh, sas picked both of these two and looked for the value looked for the value so if you see here it has this and devan but this table it does not have so from this table it took all the value and it put it over here same happens for this it put it over here but when it goes to this catherine and for howard snider let's look for this here it is and here it is so these two contact names these two customers have the value in second table as well so when it combined it got the matching value for these two customers then again these two customers were available in table 2 but those were not in table 1 so sas put that over here and put the value which was available in customer 2 so this is how sas does the merging now let's look at the second condition here you have same tables cust1 and cust2 but for this time as in the previous example you saw it brought all of the observation from both of the tables but for example you want to keep only the customers from first table and corresponding values from second table which should look something like this okay so if you can see all the customers from here are available over here but all the customers from here are not available over here because these two names are not here okay and the customer names which were available in here and same were available over here this uh, you would like to have the value from second table over here so if you want to do this kind of merging what is it that you have to do nothing much you just need to go back to the SAS session and wherever you are merging it, you just need to put an if condition. If my lib dot cust one, you are saying that keep only in output keep only those observations which are available in cust one table and not all, uh, and the corresponding observation from customer two, not all the observation from customer two. Let's have select this and run this. Oops there is something wrong okay let's make it more simple so to do this what you can do we will name it instead of cust we are gonna just name it in a okay you can write anything in a b c whatever you want okay and to this table we would say b so if you want to name this table b you just need to start a bracket and in that bracket you need to put in equals to b in equals to a and here you can just say if a now let's have this running okay let's print this so here you can see it's the same result which we were expecting over here this is how you can do the this is also called the left side left table merging or left join maybe whatever you want you can say in in the language of sql standard query language it is called left join now let's look at the other next scenario here you again you have the same table same two tables but this time you want to reverse the condition this time you want to have all the contact names from customer 2 but only the matching uh, only the transaction amount or only the observation from customer 1 which are matching with customer 2 so again so these are the two customers which will be matching from here so this kind of output we are expecting over here if you see for catherine and for howard uh, all of the variables have value but for these two which were available in customer two table but not in customer one for this transaction amount is blank and value which were available in which was available in customer two that is available over here so to summarize here we wanted to have all the customer names from customer 2 table but only only those observation which were matching to the customer names available in customer 2 table we wanted to pick the value from customer 1 so that's how we can do this let's go to the sas and try doing this this time you just need to remove a and type b so when you type b and run this you would have 
this output. So this time you are saying SAS pick all the contact names from table B and find the observe uh, keep only them keep only them in the output and find matching observation in the uh, table A and bring the values from table A. Okay, so this is what we wanted to do over here. Now let's look at the sec next condition. Again, you have both of these two table and this time you want to have the output something like this, which means you want to output only those observations which are common in both of these two table like these two customers are available in both of these two tables. So you want to have transaction amount first from first table and city and country from second table and you want to uh, populate only two observations meaning which are common in both of these two tables you want to populate only those observation in the output which should look something like this what you can do just go back to the SAS session and here you just need to type a and b meaning you are saying bring populate or output all of those observations which are common in table a and in table b now let's run this here we go so here you can see it's the output which we were expecting over here now let's look at the next example here again you have both of these two tables and this time you want to combine them and you want to have all of the observation from both of these two tables it's the same thing which we saw in the very beginning right so but this time in the beginning we didn't put any condition any if condition over here this time we're going to put if condition over here what is going to be the if condition that will be joined with or statement or logical operator okay so we are so saying pick up or pick up the observation which are available either in table A or in table B and populate them in the output. So just select this and run this. So here you can see all of the observation from both of these two tables have been populated. So this is how you can use the merging tables, merge statement in SAS to merge as many tables as you want as many tables as you want here i just show you the example for two tables but i encourage you to go ahead and try to merge many more tables as many as you want but keep in mind all of those tables must have common variables and the tables must be sorted before you start merging to merge that again i repeat you need to start with data statement as as usual and then instead of set you need to provide merge provide the table name and if you want you can name that also either like this or whatever name you want you can give it and then put the put the common variable name in by column and then put the condition if it is required this is optional and then put run followed by a semicolon and then just run this so this is how you can have it combine all together thank you very much for watching the video and wish you very good luck